Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm your trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Euro USD. So, if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex analysis playlist for the analysis of other currency pairs. So, let's get started. So, this is the 4 hours chart of Euro USD. Yes, I'm in my favorite 4 hours time frame. And as we all know, the okay, market had huge sell off last week and therefore we we were expecting a good recovery okay, but the sad part is that unlike uh, british pound japanese and euro usd has failed to give us a recovery and i have already clear, clearly mentioned in my previous videos that okay, whenever market gets very volatile okay, whenever market gets very volatile then after some time market gets dull in clear words or in simple words market always move from higher volatility to lower volatility and lower volatility to higher volatility whenever a market becomes uh, becomes very volatile then after some time market gets dull or market goes sideways okay or market takes rest or if you see a market lying flat then be prepared to get some action because yes if a market is flat or market is dull then there is a possibility that market will be giving you some good move uh, in no time okay so this is the theory of volatility and right now after the huge volatility last week market is taking rest and as you can see on the screen that i have drawn two lines here okay so this is the support line okay after the huge sell off last week okay the good thing is that market is respecting the support or the market is respecting the previous week's closing price so 1.1845 okay 1.1845 is acting as a temporary resistance for the market and as we all know almost all the support levels are gone right now so right now market is taking support at this price level and if you uh, if you can see on the chart then you can see that there is a divergence here okay and it's my request do not focus on divergence okay many okay many of you may be thinking yesterday that i did not mention about this divergence but but just try to understand one thing if divergence would have been the holy grail the most important thing in the market then 90 percent traders would not have lose money in trading okay therefore therefore divergence do not run after divergence try to understand the market emotion try to understand the market psychology if a market is being dominated by sellers then if divergence will do nothing okay. just try to understand the market emotion here market psychology here okay. and right now okay, right now we can see that market is trading in a tight range so as long as market in is trading in this range okay, there is not much to do yes there is not much to do here but as i've already mentioned market is trying to take temporary support at this particular level at this level so in case you find market taking support here at this level then you can go for buying order in case market bounces or reverses but as you can see market is trading in a particular range right now so do not expect much big move okay. hardly you can go for 20 pips 30 pips max max if you are a if you are a beginner if you want to avoid this kind of trade this kind of trades then feel free to avoid you don't need to trade as long as market is trading in this range okay. and i would like to show you one thing that is the dollar index remember the dollar how strong it became last week ah, let's go to the daily chart so this is the us dollar index and you can see that after this red candle dollar has formed a green candle again so if you look at the overall structure of dollar okay then it looks like that okay, there's no doubt that market is very bullish okay us dollar is very bullish us dollar is very strong right now and if you look at the present setup then it looks like that it will give us a pullback and it will go up again okay so do not be uh, do not start thinking that dollar will go down after this red candle whenever we get a setup like this then the possibility of pullback and market going up is much much higher okay. 
therefore us dollar is still positive us dollar is still extremely bullish okay and this is the currency strength meter and in the currency strength meter also you can see that dollar is standing tall dollar is strongest among all the other currencies okay and this is the euro okay. therefore dollar is still standing tall and as i have already mentioned and shown you okay after this pullback there is a good chance that dollar will be going up again so if dollar starts going up again then okay euro may get weak and we may see some downtrend again let's move to the euro usd chart again uh, okay yes and let me take you to one hour chart okay so if you are a trader who trades in one hour chart then you can see that uh, in the one hour chart also there is not much movement okay so if you are a scalper or if you have got some trading experience then you can think of grabbing the market at this particular price level 1.1845 okay as of now 1.1845 looks the only level that can give you 20 30 pips for profit okay apart from that as long as market is in this range you should not trade or i'll say i'll tell you just to avoid euro usd and i have already clearly explained in my previous videos that after after the volatility that we have seen or witnessed last week market will take risk i have already clearly explained that then this risk was expected okay let's see how long market takes the risk okay because it's the second day of the week okay. <laughs> let's see okay so i'll come tomorrow and tell you okay if market gives us a breakout okay and on the other hand on the other hand if market if market crosses this particular level 1.1927 okay in case if market crosses this particular level then also be very careful if you uh, if you are planning on clicking on the buy button because see we are still not sure whether there is a trend reversal or not because see we still do not have the v formation so be very careful if you see that if you see that market has crossed this level but still there is not much buying power still the bulls do not have the strength then just avoid euro usd for one or two days it is better to avoid euro usd than to lose money <laughs> it's not it and if i take you to the forex sentiment meter okay, you can see that uh, still 74 percent retail traders are long and only 26 percent retail traders are short okay. and as we all know retail traders lose money because they always go against the trend so do not trade now be a wise in uh, be a wise trader okay you do not need to trade every day okay you just need to trade on the perfect position the best position and right now after the uh, last week's volatility euro usd is not in a good position so i'll let's see how long the market takes risk in case there is a movement in the market then we'll get to know <laughs> what to do next i'll tell you tomorrow okay if uh, if market crosses this level or either this level okay let's see so this is it hopefully you have understood if you have liked the video and found the video informative give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care see you tomorrow